We have discussed now plenum spaces, adding plenum levels. Okay. Till this point, you have any doubt? Adding plenum levels. Hello. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So next is placing spaces for plenum. Now we'll place the spaces for plenum area. Okay. So we'll go to the servit. Now before spacing, placing the space for this area. First, we'll space uh, place the space for second floor. Okay, go to the second floor. You can place this one first also. Okay, no problem. Second floor. Okay. Second floor. Place the space. Now specify the here upper limit to be zero three. Okay. Now when you are specifying the upper limit, make it as zero. Okay, now click here, place space automatically. Okay, any doubt? Nebu? Yeah, 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 yes. Okay. Can you, can you, can you repeat again, please? Yeah, okay. First, we'll go to this flow plan. Okay. Select space. Specify the upper limit to third flow. Okay. Okay. If you are specifying this upper limit, make the offset zero. Now select the option place space automatically. Okay. Okay. This is the third floor. No, this is the second floor. For second floor, okay. the upper limit, third floor, na? No? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. So now go to this uh, elevation. Now we'll create the spaces for plenum. Go to this plenum. Uh -huh. Go to the flow plan. But uh, plenum is not appearing in the HVAC only. It's appearing in the plumbing. It's... No, you can create uh -huh. in plumbing or mechanical also. How to create? Look, okay. if, you, if you want to make it in mechanical, select this one. Okay. Both this one. And specify the mechanical discipline and uh, sub discipline to HVAC. Okay. Okay. So go to this plenum. Okay, fine. Now <clears throat> select the space. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh my love. Select the space. Specify the upper limit to the third floor. Okay. Upper floor. Okay. okay. Specify the offset zero. Now select place space automatically. Third nice spaces. Okay. Nice. Yeah, any doubt in this? Now you can see, go to the section, go to the view. Here you have separate uh, type VV. Go to the spaces. Select interior, apply. Okay. Now you have separate spaces for this floor. Okay. In this case, we uh -huh. don't have the fall ceiling. Now second floor comes, second floor in second floor, we have a separate space below the fall ceiling and separate okay. space, this is called a plenum space above the fall ceiling, okay? Okay. Yeah, any doubt? Okay. No, this is clear. Okay, fine. Unselect this one, unselect this one. Go to the flow plan. Now next topic comes the space naming. Okay, hmm. space naming. How to do space naming? Now we have the option called space naming tool. We have called the space naming. Okay, yes. select this one. And you want the spaces or names and number only. Okay, the room is having a name. 
and number okay so what so what you want the names and number only numbers only and names and number both so we want names and number both this is as per the architecture which i have specified now in the architectural file so yeah they are going to look now we have spaces naming okay okay this will similar to the rooms name this room name will have the name of office and the office sorry and the space also is having the name for office okay yeah. now each and every space will having the space name as of the room name yeah fine yeah go to this second floor this space naming okay so it automatically is for all the floors yeah automatically <laughs> go to this floor plan we are disabling this part of spaces go to the space here for then fly now next point is dividing the space okay dividing the space means suppose you have uh, this space here na no? this is the biggest one hmm. longest one okay yes. if you want if you want to divide this space into two halves okay so we have a tool called the space separator uh -huh. okay so how to use this select this one and mark from the point where you want to break this the whole space okay so they want this to from this side okay wait so control z Yeah. Go to the analyze space separator and draw from this point to this point. So when you draw a separator, this is space is limited to this line only. Uh -huh. Okay. Now what you can do is you can. create an another space in this space only okay select a space okay and specify the limit 02 sorry call the boy okay so in this way you can divide the space into two halves okay previously this was only the single space this system is hanging So previously this was a single space with the help of the tool called space separator where you can separate you can divide the space into two halves okay if you are having a big hall or an auditorium so in that case you can select this tool space separator okay so that this next topic is and dividing the space okay vertical extent for shaft okay now yeah mahboob listening yeah yeah yes okay this is the shaft okay this is the shaft we have first we do the space naming space naming uh -huh. okay 
okay this is the female toilet and this is the male toilet and in between these two we have we have the shaft okay which is from ground floor to the top floor okay okay first you create the section of this create a section of this one okay go to the view okay so now you have separate spaces but this is the single shaft na mm uh -huh. okay this is a single shaft so for single shaft you have a separate space from from the ground level to the top level okay okay because it is open from this this level up to this level okay okay so you can select this first you must delete this one select this one okay uh, if you delete this space from here with the help of the delete key the space will not get deleted okay so for deleting any space what you have to do go to this view tab and here is the option for system browser okay select system browser for deleting any space i'm talking go to the system yeah. browser select zone open this one okay so select this space okay now it is highlighting na this is space from this side Uh -huh. So delete this space from this point. When you delete from this side with the help of the uh, uh, delete key from the keyboard, this will not get deleted. Okay. So to to delete any space, go to the system browser and delete from here. Okay. Now we don't have any. Yeah, this one also we have. Select this one and delete. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay. So it's select this cool. one, and you have this upper limit up to the roof. So specify yeah. here the upper limit to roof. Okay. Okay. Now, in some cases, the shaft is uh, extended from the roof level to some height. Okay. Just okay. Actually, the actually, we don't need any uh, means any type of services in shaft, right? No, no, we do. We do need. Oh, we do need. Okay. Yeah, we do need the plan. Actually, we have this so plan. Let me show you. Suppose we have this male and female toilet. So the okay. piping of all the fixtures will go from this space only. This shaft. The Okay, means the that that is helpful for plumbing, not for air conditioning, no, right? It is helpful for air conditioning also. Okay. Okay. Suppose if you want to give fresh air in this toilet, so the fan of the fresh air will be placed on the roof, and mm. from roof we uh, will draw a duct from the roof to this toilet. So the duct okay. will go through this shaft, na? Uh huh. Okay. Okay, fine. So next, go to this. Mm, we were discussing the ha uh, yeah this section so in 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 some case if you want uh, the shaft is uh, some above the height of this roof okay in some cases so how to uh, increase the height of this space if you have the level don't worry next is a limit offset okay limit offset means up to mm. height you can extend suppose we want to extend this space up to 1 feet or 2 feet 2 now this is extended up to this point okay uh -huh. you can adjust it from here also okay so we have discussed the uh how to divide the space vertical extent means the shaft that i am discussing okay vertical extent of the spaces deleting spaces we have discussed how to delete okay okay how to delete go to the system browser and delete uh, the space okay yeah yeah any doubt you can ask no 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 
ओके फाइन